Okay. Miss Hartwood, lock the door, will you? I'd rather not run into dear Dr. Gray if I can help it. This feels strange. So very strange. Yeah, point of the point of view is has changed. False book, golden fleece. You okay? This place? It's like something from my childhood. It's just the private study of a very peculiar man. <coughs> yeah, this is like something out of my childhood. There's a book missing. A secret door. Looks like it. Careful. Let me go first. Now we're talking. Great job, Emily. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother, Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes, you're from the Seattle. This has something to do with the numbers for the talisman. Okay, the closet, okay. The Snake Dagger, a monograph by Yael Klein. In Ludwig Prinz's book on pagan rituals called The Mystery of the Grave, as translated by Nicholas Vachy, there are several... A very old-fashioned... Furniture key. I can't believe I didn't see that before. Found anything? Oh, Dr. Gray's in so deep, I knew it. He's as mad as his patients. I mean, look at this. She who can till the soil of this sick world and begin again. The black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Absolute insanity. Religious freedom. This is America after all. No Narnia in, in, the, in the closet. Hello. Hello? Who's there? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Jeremy is with the dark man? Where? Who is he? What, what is the dark man? The Hotwood curse. He will come for you too. Is this same voice actor than Jeremy? Oh no. Investigate the broken clock. This puzzle, I think, was slightly stupid. B. 
because with the corn beat this was only a vis visual representation, not, not the numbers game. Like we have used to so far. You heard the telephone ring, right? No, the telephone's cut off. I tried calling the police earlier. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> None of Emily's experiences seem to line up with reality anymore. Even when she accomplished something, it seemed absurd. Was this what it was like to be completely consumed by the Hardwood curse? Not mind-numbing terror, but a continuous state of confusion breaking you down. Hey, Mr. Carnby? What? Nothing, right? That's a closet. That's right, Detective. I'll see you later. I have to finish this. <laughs> You're going inside the closet? I know what it looks like, but I can't explain it, much less justify it. <laughs> All right. You do what you have to do, miss. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Detective. <laughs> uh. Seems promising. Anything else? We found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the ancient Stellarium. Machine gun cartridge. Uh, apparently, the expedition has been heavily armed. Flares, okay. Well, this is how out of flares are actually used, so I don't mind. I mean, I mean, flare gun is that's a tool and not not a weapon. Aurora borealis. Thanks for following Devolux. The 
we are pretty close to the end, actually. It is a Emily campaign, but that uh, her her own chapter was refreshing. So yeah, I I, I like this that you can you can actually play this through twice. What do you want? Emily! You should not have come! No, yeah, no. We can talk about this! <laughs> when we don't. It's too late for that! It's too late! Burn. Oh no. Okay, that that's a miss. Luckily, he's uh, it's a, he, he's a bit frozen. I'm stuck. That was too close to comfort. Align the stars. So this is bigger talisman than what we had before. And I think this was pretty... The dark man is going to be in the middle of your existence, Jeremy. And at least set everything up. Pretty simplistic... ...puzzle. Else. Uh, so we need to align the whole whole thing. Yeah. Weird. Again. Oh, oh she had a machine gun. Should give you some clue what's actually happening. <sighs> yeah, they're not they're not good. after me you're in my head now in that case I hope you enjoy your stay Emily stop don't worry we got you
chapter 5. Are you alone? Or is he in there with you? Well, that's kind of under His consideration. Is up. Heard you almost painted the foyer with your own blood and guts. <laughs> Good to see you still in one piece. Stick around, will you? It's gonna be an exciting night. Good to see you made it, miss. And all that ruckus, a lot of gave you a healthy dose of that sleeping juice. Wasn't sure you'd be waking up again. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Tried to shoot yourself. Sorry for the manhandling, but we just wanted to save you. You also stabbed Jeremy in the eye. Yeah, um, right? about that. Mm, he's a little strange, but everything else is back to normal. Really? I broke the pack? I don't know what you did, but you worked. Let's see you standing up, miss. Jeremy, are you okay? I'm so sorry for hurting you. How can you ever forgive me? Emily! I missed you so. I do hope you'll stay with me for a while. Uncle, what's wrong? Is it anesthesia? He, he seems so meek. I wish that was the case. It turns out that you managed to lobotomize him. Accidentally. It's actually quite impressive, considering your technique. This is permanent? You sacrificed a piece of his mind to save the whole. It's a little like treating a bad knee by cutting off the leg. It's blunt, but it works. Oops. That's terrible. Perhaps. But at least he won't suffer anymore. Do you remember the dark man, Jeremy? Ah, yes. Where did he go? I hope he is doing all right. You see? With a violent stab, you made any future treatment quite redundant. I assume you will be bringing him with you back to New Orleans. I will. I just need to find Detective Carnby. Get back to New Orleans. Everything was back to normal. Did any of it really happen? What had Emily actually been doing all night? Good to see you're still with us, miss. Are you hungry? No, thank you. I'm still a bit woozy. Do you know what's about to happen here? Just a little ceremony we do each year on the eve of St. John. We raise our glasses to the old wishing tree here and ask for a better year. I almost forgot this was here. Very hard to settle, you know. Almost time to call on her. Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. 
let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Hell are their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Ever their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Ever their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother, and take pity on us. What are you doing? This is madness! This is a smart accomplice. She's just a child! With a thousand yards! Yeah. Edward! Get out, Emily! We're leaving! This is enough! You have to be a sacrifice! No! Yeah, it's, it wasn't the tree. <laughs> Come with me. And in the first game, the tree was set on fire. Okay. No, Ruth, no. Get yourself together, Emily. You have to finish this. Do we... Mandatory boss fight. Yeah, it's a thousand young. young. That's a love, Lovecraftian monster.
left side. Okay, that's a blind one. Finally! Effing finally. <sighs> Emily, are you alright? I don't understand anything that just happened. What was that? The whole gang was a cult dedicated to something called the Black Goat of the Woods. I've been trying to gather as much information as I could. It was only after you started talking about monsters that I thought maybe there was some truth to all the nonsense I was finding. Where's Jeremy? Uncle! Are you alright? Well, he has been stabbed to the eye, yeah, so... Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Don't say that. You made it out. Be happy. Okay? Uh, she's alive. <laughs> hey, kid. You doing all right? It wasn't what I expected. But you can't always get what you want. So you wanted to be hanged. And sacrificed to Thousand Young. And Shubnik Kurath. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. Let's go. Can I come? Don't leave her. You have to take her to Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen is um. What on earth are you home. talking about? Hell's Kitchen is a place uh, where the alone in the dark tree. I think it was set there. And like I said, Call of Cthulhu players, uh, pen and paper rolling players, well, th the location look like that after they have been visiting there. So, can you create something to play with? So this is when you have collected everything. Hey kid, what are you up to? Nothing much. 
Yeah? Anything I'm gonna have to pay for? You're bored, aren't you? Yeah, I can tell. You wanna see if we can tear your mother away from the play? Can you believe they're still going? It's been hours. You forgot this. Well, I just didn't want you to think we had abandoned you in there. Can we go home? Yes, please, can we? What, you guys didn't like the play? It was all right, a little difficult to follow. Oh, I agree. Let's just say there were moments where it uh, left me alone in the dark. <laughs> oh, God. That's the name of the play. Whoa, what do you know? <laughs> Did you like it, sweetie? There should have been a hedge maze. A hedge maze? <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, some some. <laughs> that would have been fun. Uh, yeah, previous well, Alone in the Dark games had maybe those. Next time. Yeah, Pirates was in the two second second original Alone in the Dark game, and Hedge Maze as well. I I think it was it was in the Silent Hill or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, that's a secret ending. Save the New Orleans from the Black Coat. Okay, so this was the second playthrough. Uh, I kind of liked... I usually you give my uh, impressions of the game uh, at this point. But I liked the second cha chapter, well, cha second playthrough, that uh, both of the main characters had their own lines, own um, cutscenes, and own chapter. Uh, what was the current piece chapter? No, anyway, Emily made a detour to the First World War, so that was her her story, and, and apparently, and and this whole place of this place being a like uh, a temporary hospital for the Spanish flu. That was great. It was implied, but yeah, nice nice to see it. So I, I like this game. It definitely. They had smaller bar budget than with the Alan Wake 2, but in the end, this was so Lovecraft, so good, so homage to the or original game that I really like this. Yeah. So definitely a way to go. Definitely a way to m make make these games. So this wasn't straight modernization. It, this m more was more like a reimagining the. Alone the Dark game, which was Escape from House, Lovecraftian horror game that uh, spawned many other games, uh, like for Silent Hill, for example, whole the whole survival horror uh, genre is based on the ideas that uh, Alone in the Dark basically founded. So pretty nice thing.